Earlier, I spoke about that developing relationship with the president of Srpska, Zelka Tsvianovic, who's in Jerusalem today working on strengthening those connections. President Svianovich, thank you for joining us on I-24 News. Uh, while it's true many Israelis may not be able to locate the Republic of Srpska, it's emerged as a uh, friend and supporter of Israel. Could you talk about the relationship between Srpska and Israel? Yeah, thank you for your question. Good evening. It's been a long-standing relationship and very good cooperation between Republika Srpska and the State of Israel. But not only with the State of Israel, but also with the Jewish community, wherever they are, they operate. For instance, we have very good cooperation with the major Jewish organizations in, in, in the United States of America. Uh, but this is my third visit to to the State of Israel. Uh, I was here two times before in different capacities as Prime Minister, as Minister. Now I come here as the President of Republic of Srpska. And it's not only that we have uh, some uh, very important issues and very important things to commemorate together. It's about, you know, discussing some future events and how we can enhance our cooperation. And also I'm going to participate here at a conference where I'm going to have a address uh, on cybersecurity and our government and also some institutions from the State of Israel signed memorandum of cooperation, how to improve uh, our cybersecurity, how to cooperate together, and also how to establish, and the idea is actually to establish a cyber academy in Banja Luka, which is the capital of Republika Srpska. Uh, but also there are many other areas of our cooperation. We tried uh, to implement and managed to implement some of the projects in the area of agriculture, and also there are people who are interested here, companies who are interested here in actually doing some business in Republika Srpska in energy sector and also concerning some infrastructure. But historically and uh, emotionally, I would say there is very strong link between Republika Srpska and the state of Israel and Jewish people, Israeli people, and we just, you know, try to promote it and try to see uh, how we can improve it in the future and how we can strengthen our links. Well, uh, let's talk about that. Where do you want to see, the, where is there growth room for improvement, for strengthening those links. Uh, as I said, there is quite good understanding between our peoples because we shared some tragical moments in the past, but also we are aware that the uh, planet nowadays requires completely different sorts of cooperation, and we are just ready to do that. But basically, that's institutional basis for all our activities, and there are also some twin cities or sister cities, uh, relations like that between, for instance, Banja Luka is the capital of, of Republika Srpska and Modin uh, in Israel, and we try to organize some more activities of that type, you know, just to have links between different local communities on both sides. But as I said, the main focus is how to improve the links between our institutions, for instance, at Republika Srpska level and also at the level of State of Israel. Uh, could you talk about uh, Srpska's approach to some of the political issues here? I believe you have a representative office in Jerusalem, which is not uh, at all typical diplomatically. Talk about the uh, approach that Srpska takes to maybe Jerusalem and maybe to such issues as the Israeli-Palestinian issue. It's very difficult, you know, to comment on, on the issues outside because we live in, in multi-ethnic a community of multi-ethnic democracy, which is Bosnia and Herzegovina, which means that it is composed of two entities, one republic and uh, another entity is federation, which is composed of ten cantons. And by saying that we live like in a multi-ethnic uh, community or multi-ethnic democracy, having three constituent peoples plus minorities, it means that the situation is already complicated by itself. So we have more understanding for all those who uh, have problems like that. Uh, in Bosnia and Herzegovina, there are still many unsettled issues, uh, and it's been like that for almost 30 years. You know, speaking about the war that we had and also post-war period, it's very difficult to find a common language because it looks like uh, every uh, ethnicity has its own political agenda. So then we can understand actually what's happening here in your area. But speaking about Republika Srpska and the ties that we have uh, with, the, with the state of Israel, uh, of course, we understand all your concerns and all your activities here and as I said we just want to enhance our cooperation so that we understand each other much more but speaking about about the situation in Bosnia-Herzegovina I would say there, there are still many unsettled issues 
26 years after the war. And if we speak about basic problems, you know, something which we discussed today was something that we discussed 26 years ago. And instead of having progress on the path of peace and stability, I think that there are still many political issues. It sounds quite a bit like the situation here. Uh, uh, just can you talk about some of your meetings that you've had here in Israel, specifically what and, and how you've been received here in Israel? It's, as I said, institutional meetings, you know, starting with the mayor of Jerusalem, also uh, meeting uh, people from different organizations, the Zionist organization, and also attending this conference and also having uh, ministers to discuss, you know, these issues and also our relationship, I would say, and how we can improve that and participation in this conference. So this time, this program is structured about all these activities. But uh, speaking about um, the ministries on both sides, uh, we had quite good cooperation between the ministries of tourism and also ministries of agriculture. And what we intend to do in the future is actually to organize some business forums for uh, business people from both sides so that they can uh, act together, so that they can meet um, together and that they can discuss what uh, the future plans could be for them. President Zelka Zvianovic of the Republic of Srpska, thank you for joining us on I-24 News. Thank you for having me.